clean that brush up later. I do think I could use maybe a little bit of tone of matte down a couple spots here. too much. doing this to just get a little bit of like standing effect I guess it's tarnished yellow nice and yellow in some spots tarnished in others
Okay. A little happier with all of that now. I'm quickly just doing an oil wash doing this. Get some out on the back here. Okay, and for the helmet here, I think I want to push in a little bit of that, but also I want to push in some green. Let's see. Or maybe just some more magenta. Maybe some alizarin crimson. Yeah, I think I want to use some alizarin crimson instead. Just a couple of spots. So let me grab that. It's this nice dark crimson. I really do you feel like my white balance is still messed up on this camera? I don't know if I need a diffuse. Something to diffuse the light. A part of my issue was just where my camera is. Let me see. I put this here. I try to adjust something real quick.
I bet you my head's going to get in the shot, though. Let's see. Start to paint. Yep, my head goes right into the shot. Yep, all right. So I kind of have to do what I was doing. Uh, sorry about that. I, mean, I just need to move over, I guess, just a tad better centered in screen. I wish this arm above, like the arm that I have, if it was another like four inches, even like two more inches, like to the left. It's just not quite long enough. Yeah. Because it's, it's, it's above me directly, like here. Like, I want it here. That's as far as it will go. <sighs> I'm not buying another freaking armature. I have so many. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, get a little bit of this out on the pallet here. And I did not mix this. Oh, shit. Not need that much. Oh. See that I can put the toothpaste back in the tube. Got some of it back in there. Do not need that much red. I need to re did a such a poor job mixing a lot of those colors. Okay. And I just want It's like off screen as much as possible, so it's not blowing out the camera. One thing I want to do is go ahead and mark this.
They're doing a super thin coat over a metallic. Puts makes a candy effect. Huh. The more you know, right? Interesting. Yeah, it looks candy coated now. Let's see if I can push some of that. here not all much right it is Oh, wonder. Wonder. Let's try to find that. So I do have little crevices in here.
Let's see. I'm going to look at it here. There we go. Ooh, what's up? The Calisandra. Hello. Da, 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 da. How is everyone tonight? Welcome in, everybody. Sandra, I have to say I don't recognize the name. Are you also a mini painter, Calisandra? Let's see here. Let's see. You are. I'm going to go ahead and give you a follow then. Hello? <clears throat> Chris, to, to, Jared's to Ray Mays, welcome in. Okay, yeah, I, I, I must have just maybe just missed you, but hello. Trader Legions, hello. Welcome in, everybody. Uh, for those who haven't caught me on the streams, upon expected, and I am an oil painter currently working on this um wonderful i'm gonna zoom in here get you a better look at her here's um this is thanatos by uh, michael contreras that i'm working on right now so i think i'm about between this stream and the next one i think i'll be uh i'll be good with her so he's getting there he's getting there where are you painting this evening? If you have pictures, feel free to feel free to share. I know getting off stream usually there's not quite time and all that. Oh, it's a cat stream. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been working on her for the last. I think this is my fourth stream. I think maybe third. And I'm normally painting other things. I paint a lot of Kingdom Death stuff. Um, for example, I'll grab a example, like this guy. This is the uh, 50 millimeter scale uh, Screaming God from Kingdom Death. I did up, uh, he's actually, it was a while ago that I painted him. It's, it's 
probably one of my favorite recent recent ones I've done. Um, I will be painting some other ones sometime soon. I got the Halloween. Where is she? Uh, I could pull her out. The next one I'm going to be painting is this one here. What painting? Uh, what is this one actually called? The Halloween Vixen, maybe? Uh, some pumpkin speakers and I'm painting her up. I think that's she's going to be the next model I start working on. She's going to be a lot of fun. I really need a macro to show some of this, like pictures of other things I work on. But I'm also working on a huge garage kit right now that you can see on Instagram that I affectionately call the huge mistake. Um, you know, I paint, I got some, some garage, I, I've started getting into garage kits. Like, uh, I got this bust up here I'll be painting in the near future. This is the uh, Evangelion EVA 01 bust that I'll be working up sometime soon. I'll probably be painting this along uh, with um, Worker Studios while he paints another garage kit. I got him. But yeah, if anybody has any questions about uh, what I'm doing with the oils, feel free to ask. There's a res useful resource at the bottom of the stream. Yep, get in the mech, Shinji. I, uh, Shinji, I need to watch the last. I haven't watched the latest movie yet that just came out okay that's where that's where you see me okay yeah because i've i painted um i was painting some of the huge mistake um with him while well, he was painting in, uh i think Etna at one point kind of recently uh but yeah but this is what i'm working on um in the near future and i'm going to pan out again so you know we got her I'm going to turn this light down a bit. Cause it's, so I got her in the near future. I say near future. By the end of the year. <laughs> I have this to paint. I have one third scale bust that I just finished cleaning up. Uh, she's got this big old thing that is going to be in her back. And wait, like that. Ah! It'll break stuff. Anyway, I'm going to put that away before it breaks something. Uh, I got this huge monster. This is a beautiful piece. This, oh, she's blocking my view here. Uh, you know, so it's the, it's the same model. Uh, it's, this one's tweaked a little bit, right? But uh, it's the same Thanatos model. This was a pain in the butt to clean up. Holy. Oof. Like the amount of like sanding and subtle gap filling and I did a little bit of puttying and oh, I probably spent a good 20 hours cleaning her up. So she's finally ready to prime tomorrow and I'm going to start working on her uh, by the end of the year for sure. Kind of just depends on what else comes down the pipe. Anyway, enough show and tell. Um yeah, it's it's gonna it's gonna be a really cool piece to paint. Um I've never painted something at that scale. Um it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh anyway. I was kind of touching the metals up here. Uh and I think next Yeah, the, it's the same. So it's the same bottle. So if you uh, take a look at uh, Michael Contreras' website, this is Thanatos, uh, as you can see at the bottom of the screen there. Uh, he sells, well, he sold three different scales of it. The bus was a limited thing. Uh, line freeze, yes. Exactly what I don't know yet. Because um, I, have, I have this one. Oh, the guy with the horn. Um... That was an uh, EVA 1 uh, bottle garage kit. 
from Evangelion, the anime. Yeah, because I have, uh, I, I, that's one of like my favorite animes. Uh, I also painted one of the characters from it a while back. Uh, here's uh, Rei Ayanami. I have a little, little plinth on the back that she sits on. But I have her, uh, I have the bust, and then I have two like full size, say full size, but like, I think they're one-eighth scale full bodies of the two, the uh, Eva 1 and Eva 2. But yeah, she she was kind of, this was the first garage kit I painted. Uh, fairly fairly basic setup, but I think she, her, her face is real pretty, and I like the way I did her hair. The rest is kind of plain. Oh, I gotta be careful. I got so much. I gotta get another set of shelves for my uh, oh, my tabletop there. Okay, so the next thing that I was gonna work with here. So I was working with these metals. Uh, I mix pigment powders into linseed oil to do these metals. Uh, so you can use like the green stuff, world stuff, uh, pigments. I have Pearl X pigments. It's all comparable, right? Um, what I wanted to do this down a little bit is there's some runes you can kind of tell here inside there and on the back. Uh, they actually pop out a lot more on camera than they do in person for whatever reason. I'm going to go in there and pull those out a little bit with some... Cobalt green. Dozens! Line freeze. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the dozens. Um, so I want to pull out a little bit of those colors. And then I think I'm going to use the same color for maybe some like... I don't know. Kind of like... Uh, I don't know. Do something with it. But this is like a really subtle kind of verdigris almost color. It's really nice for uh, skin tone shadows because it's such a fragile color. It mixes pretty easily into uh, your skin tones. So if you like doing the whole um, Verdaccio style, it's not a bad color to have. All right, I'm going to need a... This needs to get out of here. Uh, where is... And as I said earlier, if anybody's working on anything uh, they'd like to share, they are welcome to. Uh, Instagram link should be auto-approved, whitelisted, assuming that I finally got the bot to work. Uh, if it fusses at you, I'll give you a permit and you'll be good to go. But once you are in the stream for, I believe, one hour, you can post links. Okay, so let's start bringing some of that out. And pardon my uh, camera-like angles, because I'm still figuring out all this mess. I feel like every time I, I get onto the stream, I gotta tweak things. Let me pull in just the smallest amount of that phthalo green. Yeah, I, I, it's been about six months, I think. Yeah, it has been a little over six months for me. And that's where every time I turn the stream on, Streamlabs is like, hey, this other thing you did broke. Congratulations. There are dozens of oh, us. Oh, welcome to the there dozens. In trouble. 
Tobias VMK welcomes you into the fold. So I am kind of just in the process of doing the cleanup on this model. She's mostly done. I say mostly done. She is, had I painted her six months ago, she'd be done. Like my skill level was at that point. But I want to try to push myself a little bit on this model because I think it's such a pretty piece. So I'm trying to be a little bit more fancy. Where's my block? <sighs> block. This is a bit of an awkward model to paint. <laughs> so there we go. We're going to do like that. I, I very rarely do sub assemblies uh, because I don't like if I'm going to gap fill, I really don't want to have to go back in and repaint stuff. So Definitely a very fragile color, so it takes a bit to get a coat going. Yeah, I've been streaming for only about six months. I uh, started painting, painting technically in 2000 but i didn't do anything other than uh prime and um dry brush then i got out of the hobby for quite some time and started back up two years ago Maybe, uh, yeah, about two years ago. Actually, I think it's three now. When did when did the Kingdom Death box the, the the second Kickstarter? Whenever that showed up at my doors, when I restarted painting again. So I hadn't painted for about twelve years, fifteen years. And I got serious into it, got super inspired by some of the painters here on Twitch.
Yeah, if you are curious about some of the other stuff I painted, you know, Instagram below the channel. Let's see, like I said, mostly Kingdom Death, but kind of expanding out. I've got like some Scale 75 stuff, some Big Child Creative stuff. Getting into some garage kits. Hoping that to go to Adepticon next year, and there, hopefully there's going to be like a miniature agnostic competition I could enter. I'd like to enter a competition. How about us for the Calisander? Thank you again for raiding in. Always appreciated. I don't want those to glow too much, though. Thanks a lot. Again. What I'm hoping to do in the near near future, once the stream kind of hits its stride, I start doing like little raffles and stuff like that. I got too many things in the house. I could probably use to get rid of some of them. Um. Mm -hmm. I want to put a couple of kind of like stains of color in a couple places. Let me take a look at something here. Where is my reference photo that I took? So that's maybe a little bit closer to the turquoise color. Yeah, let me grab some of this turquoise here. Couple little Yeah. I realized yesterday that I gotta catch. I gotta start catching up on uh, what's it called on uh, what we do in the shadows. I didn't realize that the third season started. I really enjoyed the last two seasons. So what I'm gonna do here is like really thin down, like this color here. That way I can kind of just pin line wash it. Grab some of that in there. Then I found also that I guess they made a TV show about Why the Last Man, which man I really really liked that comic. It came out.
I don't know if anybody's seen it yet, but I'm super interested in seeing it. Step on out some of that. Ooh, I wonder if I should do that with the skulls. Do like running from here into there, down across. I might do that later. I think I might overplay my hand doing that. I think I want to come out of like here.
Hmm. Oh, if I'm painting off stream, you can exclamation point distract me. Didn't realize that I was way outside of frame there. That added a little something else to it, huh? I do find myself throwing like almost the entire color wheel at the at everything I paint. Can't help myself. I wonder. I kind of do want to try like a a waterfall of sorts down. I don't know if I want to do it that same color. If I want to use some crimson or something. I think what I'm going to do actually is take a quick break. So that hit the two hour mark. I'm gonna grab myself something to drink. So I will be back in just a short bit, everybody. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> 